Nice night for a walk. <laughs> you boys. Give them to me. Now. Very Shut up and take my money. There might have been uh, some teething issues with one of the new civics, catalytic processing. Check out my other video if you're not sure about what's going on there. But that is very specific and very niche. On the other hand, how about a functionality that is built into the game, that is intentional, it seems, and that we can exploit for profit? I smell profit! <laughs> How about an issue which is built into every single empire? There is basically nobody that is going to be unable to do this unless you're not very nice. And I really do mean that. Now, we have new traditions with Lem. They are fantastic. I like quite a lot of them. Absolutely. But these traditions are perfectly balanced. There's no issues here, right? There's nothing you could do to exploit the system, they have been tested and thought through. For your viewing pleasure, I present the Ferengi Alliance. Now most of what you're seeing on screen here isn't that important to what we're going to be doing today. Post-apocalyptic, doesn't really matter. Most of these traits here, they're nice, but they don't really matter. The important points are public relations specialist plus two envoys, fanatic xenovile plus two envoys, because I want to be using all of those envoys to speed up the process of what I'm going to be doing. And in addition to that, I do want spiritualists because I want to have access to temples and I want a lot of extra unity just to get it going. Not necessary. You could do this with any empire at any point in the game, or at least almost any empire. Let's jump into a game. We do want to have at least uh, a few AI empires. That's going to be important. And here we are. Here is our capital. So the first thing we're going to be doing, we need to get our hands on some more alloys. So we will upgrade our ships to have no weapons and armor. That's going to give us a nice hefty surplus of alloys. And once we have that surplus, we are going to build a couple of science ships. Brilliant. In addition, let's set some research goals. There's no reason not to. We're going to take our first scientist, who's a lovely scientist, Shiriripa, and we're going to, instead of surveying this beautiful desert world adjacent to us, and that would be a really great idea normally to start off by surveying the planets near to you that are habitable, we're instead going to be exploring as far away as possible. And here is our first built science ship. Brilliant. I think what we need to do here is we'll recruit another scientist, put it on the science ship, and then this scientist will explore as well. Yes, I don't see any reason not to explore. There's no reason to survey. Absolutely not. And then on our capital, the first building we're going to build is not going to be a science lab. Nothing like that. No, we're going to build a temple because we want that extra unity. What we need to do is we need to get some traditions. And brilliant, we've met some aliens. Well, this this looks very promising. We've got lots of aliens in this system. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's begin first contact procedure with them. And we'll try and say hello as soon as possible. Now, of course, aliens can be very helpful to your empire. They can provide such things as tribute. That's very useful. You're going to get a lot of minerals and, and energy credits out of them. That's great. They can also do other things too. We don't necessarily need to make them a tributary in order to have an economic benefit from our relationship. Now it's time for the first tradition and normally I would pick something like discovery or expansion. But in this case, I'm going to be a little bit quirky and uh, I'm going to go with diplomacy. Let's go with diplomacy tradition. That'll be very nice today, I think. We of course do want to colonize the planets around us. I'm going to build a colony ship and I will be playing the game from that point of view in a very normal manner. But what on earth is Montu doing? Why has he gone for diplomacy first? Has he lost his marbles? Well, fear not friends, we're soon going to find out. And this looks like it's another civilization here. Brilliant. That's going to be very useful for what we are going to do. I smell profit. <laughs> Ah, uh, our first catch of the day. Here are the United Erisu Polity. Brilliant. We are now going to say hello to them properly. Uh, and we're going to do that by, we'll improve relations. That sounds like a good idea. We should establish an embassy. I like that plan as well. 
They would like to guarantee our independence. What a lovely day. This is such a beneficial relationship for both empires. Now let's go to our traditions where we can unlock another tradition perk. I think we should take eminent diplomats. Yes, that seems like a nice normal tradition. And now we've got eminent diplomats, I think it's time to make a trade deal with the United Erisu Polity. So, let's start off as we mean to continue. I think it would be very good if they were to give us, uh, hmm, I think 30 energy credits and one energy credit per month would be great. But, but you know, I've, I've had another idea. They should give us 30 energy credits and one energy credit per month. Oh, but that's, that was brilliant. You know, I've had another great idea. 30 energy credits and one energy credit per month. Oh, and yes, another, mm-hmm, brilliant. Oh, wonderful. Oh, great. Now, of course, this isn't going to work. The AI is going to accept maybe one of these, and then afterwards it, it's all going to stop. It's like a house of cards. They can't continue with this. It would be craziness. Oh, and oh, oh, here it rolls in. Oh, goodness me, that's not okay. But surely now we've got all these fantastic trade deals. Surely, surely we can't ask for, we can't, oh no, oh, we can. Goodness me, but 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 it's okay. It's, it's only energy. Oh, darn. Oh, here they all are. Yes, they they absolutely love my idea. Oh, brilliant idea. Yes, another great one. Very reasonable terms. After much deliberation, they've accepted my proposal. Research well, complete. as I guess you can imagine, this is a little bit unbalanced. We're already collecting uh, 17 energy and uh, some extra minerals from, from them. We can do this as much as we want. We can do this for up to another 44 monthly energy credits because that's how much they're producing. Uh, so we can do it in little small transactions. Here we are. Let's grab another 30 energy and some energy credits. Uh, but actually on my capital, you know, I'd like to build a city district. I'd like to build lots, but I've only got enough minerals for two city districts. Well, I'm sure my friends over here will be able to help me out. Let's ask for some more minerals, yes. Let's ask for 60 minerals. If we do that a few times, very soon I'll have enough to build my extra city district that I've always wanted. You know, with friends like these, who needs enemies? And do they like my ideas? Well, yes, they love my ideas. Here come the minerals and we'll build another city district. But one energy credit per month, well, that's not very useful. That'll take a long time to do anything useful with. Why don't we jump ahead a little bit in game time to see what happens and what we can get with our five base acceptance value a few years into the future. Well, here we are a little bit in the future and we are going to have another conversation. But this time, I don't want just one energy credit. No, no, no. I think I'll take nine. Yes, I'll take nine energy credits because of course, as the game scales, the value of individual things like energy credits is going to go down, which means I can take with only 10 trade deals, 90 energy credits per month from this very friendly and helpful neighbor who's going to help us out when we're in a tough situation. But is it just energy credits? I hear you ask. Well, no, there's yet more we can do. Well, our friends and allies here, the humanity dictator, what do we need from them? Well, I think what we need is some alloys, yes. And we don't just want a few alloys. Let's take, hmm, I don't know, how about 180 alloys? Yes. So just with a, a few uh, simple trades here, in no time at all, I'm going to build up enough alloys to produce a battleship. Well, that's very easy. What about my other friends here, the Great Gruber, Great Grubler Moogler? Well, how about these guys? Well, maybe they've got some alloys they'd like to give me. Yes, it seems like they do. Not only do they have 180, they can give me 270 alloys. Well, that's great. What about some alloys per month? Oh, brilliant. I can get four alloys per month. 
That's ridiculous. This is going to be patched very soon, I would think. So strike while the iron is hot. Go out and claim your free alloys today. Nice night for a walk. <laughs> your alloys. Give them to me. Now. You won't be needing any alloys.